Today it's going to be special, anniversary special, because today, or actually like on August 2nd, which is like yesterday in release date time, Be Quiet became 20 years old. Yay! Congrats to them. And to celebrate that, they released a special FX line of products, a pure rock FX, a pure bass FX, and this very special Pure Loop 2 FX in 280. Of course, we have all of them in house, and there will be a video about each of them individually. And now we only have to find out what FX actually stands for, because I have got no clue at all. Maybe it's like special effects, because it's like the regular version, but it has just like special effects on them with the with the light wings. I, I I don't know. Anyway, today is going to be all about the Pure Loop 2 FX in 280 millimeter form factor. This one is almost identical to the regular version that was available until now. We still got the 280mm, 27mm thick radiator with additional fill port, which allows you to refill it or exchange the liquid for which Be Quiet adds a small bottle in the box. We still got the special in-loop pump, which is built right into the 400mm long tubes, controllable over PVM and spinning at up to 5500 RPM, And yes, it is still extremely silent and completely impossible to pick up using my dB meter or a microphone or anything freaking else. And yes, the tubes are still adjustable at the water block. It's still got the shiny brushed aluminum Be Quiet water block with that beautiful RGB ring all around it and the grayish Be Quiet logo slapped onto it. And yes, it is still controllable over a 3-pin ARGB header. And now when I'm saying it, it's 50-50 for me if the original water block was just straight white. And now we've got RGB, I am not sure. I will need to check that. Was the original just white and now we got ARGB around? I don't know. Inside the box, which is not a 100% like the original one, we will find the same installation hardware for LGA 1700, 1200, 2066, every 1150 and 2011-3 for Team Intel, and AM5 and AM4 for AMD. And to use them, it is still exactly as it used to be. For AMD, remove the pre-installed retention brackets and put the AMD spacers on top of the leftover backplate, position the AMD brackets on top with the central thingy pointing towards the CPU, and screw them down. Over Intel side, we'll still need to use the provided backplate and shove the Intel screws through it and then secure them on the other side using the rubber washers. Outer holes for LGA 1700 and inner ones for everything else. Once the backplate is installed, we can screw in the double-sided nuts, position the Intel brackets on top with the ends pointing towards the CPU and screw them down. From here on both platforms, splash some of that thermal paste that Be Quiet includes onto your CPU, position the water block on top, and then just screw it down. And yes, there is still no central mounting bridge, which I find amazing. As far as identical things go, this was basically it. After all, it's still a pure loop 2, so it's pretty normal that like 90% of it are exactly as the regular pure loop. But what's special about it are the fans. Instead of the pure wings that be quite normally slapped on top of those, For the special FX anniversary edition, we get two of their light wing 140mm high speed, spinning at up to 2200 RPM, while it's pushing about 71 CFM at 2.3 mm of H2O. Now, ignoring the fact that the light wings are pushing the air a lot harder than the pure wings, we have already established within the silent loop review that the Be Quiet light wings are definitely the better option compared to their top of the line silent wing 3s. And if we now assume for a second just that there is There's no way that the mid-range pure wing can keep up with the upper class silent wing, we can already see that we are up for a treat here. But there is also something else. Instead of the usual splitters and, and adapters and all of that, you know, fun cabling stuff that we all love and hate, Be Quiet added something I highly appreciate. And I, I really hope, I sincerely hope that they will include that in every other ARGB product from now on. This hub. Now, usually I am not excited about hubs, but if you get a box of light wings, Be Quiet will include this useless hub, which allows you to take an IRGB signal from your motherboard and then spread it over to six different ports. And the reason why I say it's useless is that each light wing got its own splitter attached right to the cable. So A, you can do it without the hub, you don't need it, and B, 
you will still need a splitter for the PVM signal. And now this new and exciting hub on the other hand does not only allow you to hook it up to 6 ARGB devices but it also allows you to hook up to 6 PVM fans. This makes sense, it finally makes freaking sense. Now you can connect that sucker to SATA power and both an ARGB and PVM head on your motherboard and then you can connect all of the water block ARGB, both fans and, and both fans ARGB and everything everything else to the controller and let all of that fancy schmancy lightning power start all in sync, all using no splitters at all, then they did a good one here. For once this makes really sense, please just silently exchange the useless hub of your light wings for this very useful hub and we will just pretend that it never happened. Plus the light wings on the pure loop FX are kind of special because they don't have the splitter added to the ARGB cable so that hub really does come in handy here. So, to make it short and very clear, the difference between a normal pure loop and the special version FX anniversary edition is that instead of pure wing twos, we've got light wings. And instead of a bunch of splitters, we got a very handy hub. But before we get to the benchmarks, a small apology from my side. Although I was really planning to recreate a regular pure loop two, at the very last moment, I realized that the pure wings 140s that I own are the non high speed version spinning at a thousand rpm instead of the 1600 that they should have been. Yay! This doesn't prevent us from doing a proper benchmark at all, but it does prevent me from knowing how the original would have performed, thus having something like a comparison. Yay! Sorry for that and I will do my best to get my hands on pure wing 2140s in high speed in the future and then just silently add them or the original pure loop into the graphs. I'll make sure to just add like some sort of a pinned comment about how they compare down in the comment section below. But for the time being, we will have to treat this sucker as an independent device. With that, let's take a look at the benchmark. Letting the light wing spin at 100% of their max speed, the pure loop 2 to 80 FX managed to keep the CPU at exactly 50 degrees C above ambient. This makes it outperform things like the Asa Blizzard 360 and smaller Kraken X53, but it stays behind bigger things like the Arctic Lucid Freezer 360 and even the 280. Also interesting to note is the comparison to Be Quiet's best Dark Rock Pro 4, which was about 3 degrees harder. Compared to the bigger and upper class Be Quiet Silent Loop 2 360, the Pure Loop FX was about 5 degrees behind. On the Noise 2 performance side, it looks pretty pretty much identical. The Pure Loop 2 FX outperforms the Dark Rock Pro 4 in both raw performance and noise 2 performance until they both just equalize at whatever my dB meter was able to pick up. Compared to something smaller like a Cooler Master ML240 Illusion, the bigger Pure Loop clearly outperforms it in any category. Things like the Noxia NHD15 may be ahead in both categories from the start, but once you reach lower RPM numbers, the Pure Loop takes the lead and stays cooler and quieter until the very end. Compared to the bigger counterpart like the Silent Loop 360, the Pure Loop is basically off shifted quite significantly but never as good as the big one. But quite the shocking comparison is for example the Arctic Liquid Freezer 280 ARGB. Compared to the Pure Loop, this thing is just out of this world. But all of that performance increase doesn't come from nowhere. All of that is thanks to the 38mm thick red, which is about a third more than what the Pure Loop 2 radiator has to work with, so it's kind of an unfair comparison. That being said, all in all, the Pure Loop 2 got some pretty solid performance results. Sure, it's not the benchmark chart topper like the Freezer 280, but considering the thickness difference, it performs pretty much how we expected it to. And that is also true compared to something like BeQuiet's top line of water coolers. The difference in performance is pretty much what we expected considering we are going from top of the line to entry line. The only thing that really bugs me is that I cannot compare it to the original Pure Loop 280, which would have made so much more sense, but as I said, I'll try to do it as soon as I got my hands on Pure Loops, but uh, for now, yeah. Price-wise, I cannot say anything about it yet, I have no idea, but the regular version goes for around 90 euros, and for example, a Cooler Master Illusion, which is a bit smaller and performance-wise also a bit behind, goes for the same price. So assuming that the FX series will not cost 
a lot more, it should be pretty much all right. But yeah, that was it for the special 20 years anniversary edition of the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 in 280mm. I really enjoyed working with it and everything seems to be pretty much on, on point. So as long as there is not like a huge price difference, a total recommendation from us. Actually, I have to say that the whole FX lineup is pretty much on point. Not just the Pure Loop, also the Pure Rock. Adding those light wings to everything was a pretty good way to give every cooler like a significant performance bump or at least for the pure rock that i know it but also for the pure loop and the design bump is also quite interesting especially because you like revive the product for a couple of years more but okay at this point a huge thank you to be quiet for sending it over and you can be sure that the other fx products will also be covered later on but until then, have a look at our take on the Silent Wing Pro 4 and 120mm. They are easily my, my favorite fans. On a side note, we also have channel memberships, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to buy more CPUs which we need to sacrifice to please our lord and savior Cthulhu, cause he's not satisfied yet, he never is. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.